Should you be taking a pre-workout meal to help better your workouts? Stick around because I'm gonna share the answer to that with you and we're starting right now. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Thomas from Romer Fitness and should you take a pre-workout meal? Now this is a this is a pretty common question. A lot of guys, you know, ask themselves this and they kind of wonder whether or not it's really necessary or if it's beneficial to take something before you work out. Now, I know for myself personally, I really haven't been uh, taking a pre-workout meal before I worked out. I've usually been working out fasted for the past couple of years. And the reason for that is just because, you know, intermittent fasting was gaining popularity and people were talking about you know, how they just felt more energized during their workouts and they were able to push heavier weights and things like that. So I definitely gave it a try, but I am going to be switching back to taking a pre-workout meal and uh, I'm gonna tell you why that is. Now don't worry, this is mostly for building muscle, but I'm also gonna share with you whether or not it's worth it if you're trying to burn fat. So whether your goal is building muscle or burning fat, either way, is a pre-workout meal worth it? So let's go ahead and start with building muscle and let's kind of break down each macronutrient and whether or not that macronutrient is worth taking before you work out. So protein. The studies are kind of, you know, some of them show that it's worth it, others show it's not going to really do much. And the reason for that is you have to consider something. Whenever you ingest a meal, it can take your body, depending on how big the meal is, two to six or more hours to completely digest that meal. So if in some of these studies, participants had maybe eaten a large protein meal two to three hours before their workout, and then, you know, 30 minutes later, you know, or 30 minutes before their workout, they take another protein uh, meal before their workout, that uh, protein they took 30 minutes before their workout isn't going to have much of an effect. And the reason for that is because they ingested enough protein two to three hours prior to help uh, elevate muscle protein synthesis rates to where the protein they took later on, which would have been 30 minutes before their workout, really wouldn't have had much of an effect. However, if you are working out you know, in the morning or you haven't eaten yet, your body has gone you know, a full eight hours without any food, without any protein. So your muscle protein synthesis rates simply are not going to be as high as they could. So that's why it's very important that you at least have eaten protein two to three hours prior to uh, working out, or you know, if you haven't eaten all day, take protein 30 minutes before working out. 30 grams of protein before working out will help to elevate those muscle protein synthesis rates and help you uh, build more muscle during your workouts. Now, the next one is carbohydrates. So the research here is pretty straightforward that yes, taking carbohydrates uh, before your workout will help to increase performance. Now, it's not gonna necessarily help directly with building more muscle. And the reason for that is because the carbs are not going to be responsible for helping to increase the muscle protein synthesis rates like the protein is. However, what it will do is give you more fuel for your workouts, which will allow you to work out with more intensity, uh, lift heavier weights, and do more reps. So it kind of indirectly helps you increase performance and you know build more muscle. Now the thing is, what type of carbohydrate should you be taking before your workout? And it really depends on what type of training you're doing. So if you're doing a long duration marathon type workout, you wanna take uh, food, take in carbohydrates that are lower on the glycemic index to go. Now if you're doing a higher intensity workout, so any type of weight training workout, you wanna take something that's higher on the glycemic index scale, something that's gonna digest rather quickly, like it's gonna spike up that insulin and that's gonna be anything like a sweet potato, a potato, white rice, bananas, things of that nature, any type of quick carb that's gonna help spike your insulin and be readily used for energy quickly uh, before your workout. So just taking in you know, 30 to 40 grams of carbs before your workout will really help to increase performance as well. And then finally, we have fat. Now the research here is pretty clear as well that Taking, intaking fat before your workout isn't gonna do much of anything to help you build more muscle or increase performance in the gym. So what it really comes down to if you're looking to build muscle in the gym is taking protein and carbs 30 minutes before you work out. That's the best way to help increase 
your performance and help increase muscle protein synthesis. So, you know, you think about it, these little things over the years will really add up. And if you're working out in a fasted state, you could be leaving uh, muscle gains on the table because you're not able to fully maximize your performance in the gym. Now, that's if you want to build muscle. But what if your goal is to burn body fat? Well, I would actually recommend the opposite thing, which would be to work out in a fasted state. And the reason for that is because you want your body to be glycogen depleted going into that workout, so your body will have to be forced to tap into more of your fat stores for energy rather than the glycogen that you just ate from a meal. So really, if you're trying to burn fat, focus more on you know creating a caloric deficit and you know trying to burn more fat by you know, having your glycogen stores depleted. That's really gonna help you achieve that goal. But if you're looking to build muscle, I would highly recommend taking 30 grams of protein and another 30 to 40 grams of, you know, carbs, uh, like I mentioned earlier, 30 minutes before your workout, and that will really help you to build muscle, a little bit more muscle over the long run. So that is gonna be it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my latest tips and videos. And other than that, I will be talking to you guys next time. Peace.